गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आई एम दिलजीत सिंह एंड आई एम विद न्यू टॉपिक कल डिस्क्राइब इट टॉल बिल्डिंग इन योर कंट्री दिस इज द टॉपिक दैट वाज प्रेजेंट इन द मंथ ऑफ सितंबर इन पेरिस आई रिपीट माय टॉपिक डिस्क्राइब इट टॉल बिल्डिंग इन योर कंट्री वेल द की पॉइंट्स आर वेयर एंड व्हाट इज इट सेकंड वन इज व्हाट डू यू नो अबाउट इट एंड थर्डली व्हाई डू यू लाइक or dislike it firstly i would say that my country is a country of the historical and so many uh, like religious uh, country as the number of buildings and monuments are available if i say about uh, like qutub minar taj mahal so many things are there available but i would say about ta- uh, sorry qutub minar this is a building like uh, that's very tall actually from its name we can uh, say that qutub to minar means minar means a long or tall building actually it has uh, seven floors or seven stages uh, it is located in the capital city of my country that's called delhi uh, what i know about it is it has been uh, built by qutbuddin abak uh, a mogul empire was there i don't know exactly but what i know i am saying so i like it because it's tall and it was the only building like uh, say 20 years ago it was the only building that was the tallest uh, no doubt there are so many skyscrapers in my country but this building still has its importance as uh, this is uh, an old building its color is red so it attracts most of the people and uh, what i think so that uh, the people who go to delhi or who visit delhi like uh, they at least visit this building so this building as a symbol uh, of tallness or uh, say that of a great hi- great height and the people uh, believe that means i'm not sure but what the people believe that uh, it is a symbol of height of a straight thing so these are the things i know about the building and uh, i really impressed by its height when i first time saw it uh, the 10 years ago it was my university exam at delhi so i had gone there so this is the building i had talk about and it has really influenced me thanks okay so next go for the discussion questions is it good to live in a high rising building yes i would say that it's good as uh, in a high rising building or the multi story building you can see the world like you can see the people around you and what they are doing and uh, moreover like there is less pollution i would say that and uh, yes the noise pollution is not there the second one is are there many tall buildings in your country and why yes uh, of course these days there are so many tall buildings in my country as my country is uh, uh, full of the skyscrapers as uh, the space is decreasing day by day so the so that's why people don't find a, a sufficient uh, amount of space uh, and uh, of course sufficient at the cheap price so that's why they prefer to live in an in a places where the buildings are tall or in the multi story buildings where they can share the like sometimes the, they can share the accommodation so uh, that's why i would say that there are so many tall buildings in my country next one is what are the advantages of living in a high rising building say uh, talking about the advantages there are n number of advantages as uh, the first one is uh, high rising building uh, like there is no disturbance well like uh, there is no disturbance from anyone like uh, nobody just uh, ring the bell and just ask the way or just ask the thing unwillingly and uh, most of the tall buildings if i talk about the residential area most of the tall buildings have a gatekeeper and a society that always uh, secure you from the outside uh, like uh, outside outsiders and the third one is as i have mentioned that the society is here so a uh, society park is also there so that really that really nice and the person who is uh, and last one the person who is uh, sitting on the top floor like he or she can enjoy the beauty of the nature as uh, just while sitting in the window and enjoying the view like below him below him that's really a good thing so imagine fine next one uh, 
do you think it would be a good idea to build high-rise buildings in historical places? Well, I don't think so. It's a good idea because historical places are its, its own importance, and uh, by just uh, tampering the buildings or uh, just changing the building to the different things, it's not a good idea. I would say that uh, the country uh, lose its importance if any any of the historical buildings are touched. Next one. What are the disadvantages of a tall building? Well, the disadvantage, uh, what I can say, it's really hard, but I would say that in my country, like uh, the biggest disadvantage is uh, at the time of the natural disaster, say earthquake. So when there is a like a chances of the earthquake, like uh, the people who are sitting on the top floor, their life is at the risk. So this is a single disadvantage, I think so. That's a problem uh, for the people. And the last one. Do you think the government will prefer to build tall buildings in the future? Yes, definitely the government would prefer as uh, the tall building reduces the space. As we have seen from last 10 to 15 years, like uh, the, the, before 10 to 15 years, there were so many traditional houses were there. But if we see like, uh, like, uh, five or six houses has been replaced by the tall building and this tall buildings include at least uh, like uh, 50 or 60 houses means if 50 or 60 houses have covered the area of the five or six houses that's 10 times more so definitely in future government will try to build such kind of tall buildings as uh, this space can be utilized for the other purposes so thanks that was the end of your test thank you